Today, I'm going to show you how to do a website SEO audit in this 12-point checklist for WordPress sites. Now, doing an SEO audit is going to help you spot issues that are keeping you from ranking higher in search engines, help you stay ahead of your competitors, develop a better keyword strategy, and that's going to help boost your organic traffic, boost your site's speed and performance, and a whole lot more. Now, first, we're going to show you how to run an SEO audit with All-in-One SEO right from your WordPress dashboard, and then we're going to dive directly into how to do it manually. Now, by the way, you're going to find lots of helpful links in the description, so let's get started. Now, All-in-One SEO has a free light version that you'll find in the WordPress repository. It's equipped with lots of SEO analysis tools, but if you're wanting even more features like managing redirects, adding schema markup, local SEO, social media integration, and getting better sitemap tools, they also have a premium version that you can buy as well. Now, once you're all set up, the All-in-One SEO plugin is going to act like an SEO expert for your WordPress site, and you'll see its analysis right inside your WordPress dashboard. Just go to All-in-One SEO, then to SEO Analysis. The SEO Audit Checklist tab is going to give you an overall score for your site's SEO health. All-in-One SEO checks your site against all sorts of parameters and ranking signals as well, so it's going to catch stuff like missing image alt attributes, or if you need SEO titles, and it'll even give you suggestions on how to improve your rankings and keep an eye on your site's SEO performance. Now, I recommend that you still do a manual SEO checkup a couple of times a year just to make sure that everything is running smoothly. Okay, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty of conducting an SEO audit manually. Now, don't worry. Even if you're a beginner, I'm going to guide you through each and every step. Now, if you want to rank high in search engines like Google and Bing, the first thing you've got to do is check if your WordPress site is even indexed and visible to search engines so people can find your site. So let's head over to the WordPress admin sidebar and then go to Settings and then to Reading. Now look for the Search Engine Visibility option. Now make sure that this box isn't checked. If it is, then uncheck the Discourage Search Engines from indexing this site option and then click Save Changes. You can also manually check if Google has your pages indexed. All you have to do is type the word site and then add a colon and then the name of your site. If your site shows up, you're on the right track. You'll also want to sign up for and use Google Search Console. It allows you to control how your site shows up in Google searches, so you can do things like manually add new pages or posts to Google's index. So if let's say you have a page or a post that Google hasn't indexed yet, just go to your Google Search Console dashboard, enter the URL that you want to check at the top, and hit Request Indexing. If there aren't any issues, well, your page should appear in Google Search results in a day or so. All-in-One SEO also has a feature that makes sure that Google knows all about your pages. It checks if they're indexed and listed correctly to make sure that they're being seen by Google. Okay, next, let's make sure that your website has got an HTTPS padlock. Now, having that at the beginning of your URL can help your site rank higher in search results, which means more people are going to visit your site. Sites with that HTTPS have something called an SSL certificate. It makes it harder for hackers to grab data on your site. Big search engines like Google love those HTTPS sites and give them a boost in their rankings. So if you see that your site doesn't have that little padlock icon at the browser search bar, well, then you'll just need to get an SSL certificate. Now, don't worry. They're usually free and they're easy to set up to switch your site to the HTTPS version. All right, next, you'll want to make sure that all versions of your website's URL address lead to the same place. Now, by that, I mean that those with or without a www or those with HTTP or HTTPS need to be redirected to your main website address. It's easy to check in your WordPress dashboard. Just head over to Settings, then to General. Now, this keeps Google from being confused about where to send people, and it eliminates duplicate content issues as well. Now, if you're using All-in-One SEO, you're in luck because it automatically sets the correct canonical URL for your site's code. All right, here we are at number four, and that's making sure that you have an XML sitemap and that it's been submitted to search engines. Now, XML sitemaps are just what you think. They're like little maps that just help search engines find all the pages on your website. They're super helpful, especially if your site's new and it doesn't have a lot of links pointing to it yet. Now, if you have the All-in-One SEO WordPress plugin, creating one's easy. All you have to do is go to All-in-One SEO, then to Sitemaps, 
and click the General Sitemap tab. Now, once you're there, make sure the Enable Sitemap option is turned on. ON1 SEO lets you customize your sitemaps too, so you can change it to suit your website. And that's not all. ON1 SEO also lets you create special sitemaps for your site, like videos, news, and RSS feeds. Once your sitemap is ready, just go ahead and submit it to search engines, and this is going to help them know about your sitemap and use it to crawl your site better. Okay, next up is website speed. Now, checking your site speed is a crucial part of your SEO audit because the speed of your site is directly affects how visitors interact with your site. Fact is, search engines like Google prioritize fast websites. A speedy website can help boost your rankings and attract more visitors. Now, if you're using Monster Insights, checking your website speed is a breeze using that real-time speed report right in your WordPress dashboard. It's a great way to keep an eye on how fast your site is and fix any speed bumps that might be slowing things down. All right, next, you'll want to pay attention to your core web vitals if you want to rank high on Google. Now, these things are super important for making sure that your website's fast and user-friendly. To check your core web vitals, just head over to Google Search Console and look for the core web vitals report under Experience. Now, this report's going to show you any performance issues that are affecting your pages on both desktop and mobile. Now, here's number seven on our list, finding and fixing broken links. Broken links are like the roads that just go nowhere. They leave you with that annoying 404 not found error. Now, these errors are usually because of a website change, deleted pages, or simple typos. Now, having a bunch of broken links can really mess with your site's SEO. It's going to confuse search engines and your visitors. That's really going to hurt your rankings, and it makes for a bad user experience. You can check out Monster Insights or the Broken Link Checker plugin by All in One SEO. Now, these plugins make finding those pesky 404 errors a breeze and make sure all of your internal and external links are working like a charm. Now, that Broken Link Checker by All in One SEO is going to scan your site for broken links in your posts and pages. And when it finds one, you can fix it with just a couple of clicks, all without slowing down your site. And on one SEO's Redirection Manager keeps tabs on 404 errors and helps you set up those redirects, making sure your visitors always land on the right page. Now, when you're doing your SEO audit, you want to make sure that your blog posts and product pages have title tags and meta descriptions. Your title tag is the first thing people see when your page pops up in a search result, so it's got to be good enough to make them click that link. The meta description gives a quick peek at what that post or page or product page is all about both for search engines and for your visitors. Now, Google might change those things in those search results depending on what people are searching for, but it's still a good idea to write them for each post and page. All-in-One SEO makes it easy to add meta tags to posts and pages. Just scroll down to the All-in-One SEO setting box. All right, number nine on our SEO audit is looking at the links to other pages on your site and the links to other websites. Now, you can think of them like breadcrumbs for search engines, helping them find and index new pages on your site. Now, this is going to make your content more visible and easier to find. All in one SEO makes it super easy to do with its link assistant, and it finds what's called orphan posts. Those are the ones that don't have any links to it, and it makes suggestions about other content on your site that you could link to. And it's a one-click link adding feature, and it's going to make it a breeze to build links. Now, making sure your website is mobile-friendly is super important these days, especially since tons of people just use their phone to browse the web. Google loves mobile-friendly websites, and it gives them a boost in search results. So if your website isn't mobile-friendly, well, you should think about switching to a responsive WordPress theme. Now, these themes automatically adjust to any device size so that your visitors have a great experience no matter what they're using. Now, when you're doing your SEO audits, don't forget to check for security risks too. Google doesn't like malware, and if they find some on your site, they might lower your rankings or even flag it as harmful. So be on the safe side. Use a WordPress security scanner to find and remove any malware or suspicious files. Security makes it easy peasy. It's like a top-notch security service and firewall just for WordPress. It checks your site for nasty stuff like malware, spam injections, and other security risks. And if it finds anything bad, well, it'll clean it up for you. But it does more than just clean up your site. It's like a 24-7 security guard for your website, too. It blocks any weird activity and hacking attempts, and it's even got your back if someone tries to launch a distributed denial-of-service attack. Now, if you want to know how your SEO strategy is doing, well, checking your keyword performance in Google Search Console is a total must. It's easy. Just head over to the Search Results section and turn on the Average Position box. And now you're going to see all of your keyword rankings. 
If you're a WordPress user, well, you can use Monster Insights. It makes it simple. With Monster Insights, you can see your Search Console report right inside your WordPress dashboard. It's going to show you your top 50 Google search terms. And besides that, you can keep an eye on important stuff like clicks, impressions, click-through rate, and average search results position. This is going to help you figure out which of your keywords are doing great and which ones need some help. Well, you made it all the way to the end, and I mentioned at the beginning of the video about the importance of keeping track of your SEO analytics to grow your website. Now, if you're a WordPress user, there's an easy way to do that, and it'll make a big impact on building your online business. Be sure to check out this video where I show you five SEO analytics and reporting tips that are going to boost your organic traffic.